So I turned 25 last March 28, so about a week ago as I'm filming this, you guys. I wanted to share with you guys what I got for my birthday this year. I do like treating myself, especially if I think I've worked harder in that specific month. Para sa you know, I work so hard and I do want to enjoy my hard work. I don't want to excuse yung birthday ko kasi tapos na siya. Last na, meron pang isang bag na maparating. Siguro I'll do an unboxing na lang of that and like a review comparison once I get that bag. But after that, I'm putting myself to a luxury bag. No buy muna. Until Christmas? Actually, no. Until Christmas. Kailangan talaga firm time na. No! No more luxury bag shopping until Christmas. First thing I think that I want to share with you is what my cousins got me for my birthday. This is a coffee machine! Lately, I gotta admit, I've been into coffee more than ever. I do drink coffee. Hindi ako super fan. Pero I do drink coffee until I discover like a couple of coffee shops that I really, really love. Medyo na adik ako sa coffee. Medyo ina-araw-araw ko siya. Although, I find that it gives me palpitations. Pero, minsan hindi ko talaga matiis, guys. So, ito yung kasama ng coffee machine. Sorry, ah, hindi kasi ako maru... Guys, wala pa ako masyado alam sa kape, okay? So, I'm like a beginner amateur. This is gonna be great for me, or actually for King Z and I to experiment with coffee. Oh my gosh, this is perfect, and the size is perfect. This is just a super cute coffee machine. This is gonna be great. Ngayon, I have to buy coffee na to experiment with this coffee machine. I'm so thankful for this one, and I cannot wait to create more coffee. Coffee concoctions with this guy right here. By the way, di ko na sinama dito, guys, yung gifts ng best friend ko si YP na sa isang vlog yun. So, you can watch my other vlog for that. I did an entire unboxing and then also yung other gift to call for myself, which is the Dyson Air Wrap. So I admired an unboxing and actually trial. I'm super grateful for this one. This is Dave's gift for me for my 25th. Ito guys, matagal ko nang gusto to. As in, gusto ko talaga mag-create ng better content. Ay, matagal ko na rin tong nasa wishlist. And my boyfriend, my lovely boyfriend came through. Dave got me the GoPro Hero 9 Black. I am so grateful. Meron din pala siyang kasamang magnetic swivel clip, you guys, na hindi ko nabubuksan. I think kasama to nung binili ni Dave yung GoPro. It comes with a box like this. Hindi ako techie, guys, ha? Pero, um, gusto ko lang talaga yung wide-angle lens ng GoPro. As in, kasi kita mo talaga sa kapit sa kapit yung room. Tapos, sometimes, pwede rin ako makagawa ng POV shots. Kapag pwede na mag-travel, pwede rin to underwater. Yung mga ganun. This tiny, cutie little thing. This is weighted, but the fact that it's so handy, I can literally bring this kahit anong bag yung dalhin ko. Kaya ko tong dalhin. Yun yung isa sa mga nagustuhan ko sa kanya. Wala tong SD card na kasi. Ay, nagka-power off siya. Wala ba itong, ah! Basta ayan. I can do a whole review. I can do a whole video about it or maybe a snippet sa vlog na lang. But yeah, Dave got me this. Hindi ko pa ito nagagalaw. Hindi ko pa ito nagagamit. Hinintay ko talaga ma-unbox dito. I'll start using this tomorrow na siguro. As in, pag-aaralan ko talaga siya. I'm so grateful. As in, wish this ko talaga to best. So now, let's move on to the stuff I got for myself. So first time ko mag-haul ng na actually nakapag-haul na pala ako ng isang beses. Ayan, books. Kasi hindi talaga ako bookworm. I don't really even read books. Reading books is a habit I really want to form at least this year. That I'm in the new space then. I really want to read books. Ito na yung mga books muna na sinisimulan ko. I finished this one na kanina lang. So natapos ko na siya. The Book of Ichigo Ichie. So this is The Art of Making the Most of Every Moment, the Japanese Way. This is Budol by Mary Bautista. Actually, both of these books sa kanya ko nalaman. This is a pretty simple read. This is a really, really helpful book for just about everyone. Although yung ibang pointers, ito medyo common sense, I have to admit. But it's still a really, really good book overall. It made me realize a lot of things. This is definitely worth it. A good read. And I also got the Burnout Survival Kit. This is not really like a book. Actually, it is a book. Pero it's more of like, may mga pointers siya dito that I'm really excited. Hindi siya yung talaga novel na parang may story or whatever. It's more of like a pointer. Mga self-help book. Um, this book provides instant relief from modern work. And I know a lot of us are feeling burnt out right now especially. Hopefully, this can help me shift my mindset in terms of my work. And by the way, if you have book suggestions, feel free to comment them below. Yung mga books na magugustuhan ko. Books that really have changed your life, changed your perspective about life, or just any good books worth reading in general. Please comment them below. Next thing, I got a pair of sneakers yet again. Hindi ko alam. Parang naganda na ako sa kulay nito. Pero alam ko lang hindi tayo aalis ngayon. So parang, minsan napapakamot na lang din ako eh. Saan punta mo, girl? Well, COVID girl. Nonetheless, I got this pair of New Balance 530. This is how the shoe looks like, just to give you a quick look at it. I just found the colors to be super, super cute. Again, I'm a very neutral person. Especially now that I'm getting older, my style has changed a lot from loving, you know, colors. Very neutral person na lang ako ngayon. Pero this one, 
medyo may pops of blue siya. Pero it's still on the neutral route. This would pair with a lot of my outfits. Blue is a color I really like, especially because I like wearing jeans as well. I definitely think I would get a lot of use out of this. Okay, moving on to another thing I got for myself. Ito muna pala yung gusto ko ipakita, guys. Mamaya na yung isa. Doon na, ah! So, itong dalawa nakuha ko sa store mismo sa LV Greenbelt. Pinadeliver ko na lang siya. My SA is Joey. So, look for Joey kung meron kayong mga gusto from LV. She is the best. This is the first thing I got. Let us unbox it together. First thing that I got is actually a cosmetic or makeup pouch. Pasensya na hindi ko alam yung technical term kung ano ba yung like cosmetic pouch or Nakalimutan ko best. Pero ayan, a makeup bag. I've been wanting a really good size makeup bag for a while. And I finally got one. It's very sophisticated yet very straightforward. Ganyan lang siya. You zip it open. I like the fact na waterproof yung sa loob niya. Very low maintenance lang to. I figured kapag out of town trips, when I'm traveling, basically anytime that I have to bring my beauty essentials, my skincare, hair care, body care, everything care, um, kasha na siya dito. It's gonna fit all of my essentials right in one bag. Moving on to the next box. Sulaan niyo guys kung ano to. It's a bag. This is a bag I've been wanting for years. I remember guys, wala pa akong mga luxury items nun. Ito siguro yung isa sa mga like ko nakikita. Shocks ang ganda nun. Gusto ko yun someday. Pero it's always at the back of my head lang. I'm talking about the Palm Springs Mini Reverse Monogram. So guys, I've been wanting this for ilang years na talaga. Na-realize ko na. Alam nyo, biling ko na lang siya. To me, it is a classic design. It's a classic design of LV. You've seen this parang ilang taon na rin ata. I feel like this will really never go out of style. Pinili ko din yung Reverse Monogram kasi mas gusto ko lang yung light brown yung mas nangingibabo kaysa sa dark brown. Surprisingly, marami kang malalagay dito. By the way, ito na yung bagong version kasi before may problema ata sila na nasa sumasabit yung zipper. Yan lang yung loob niya. I love that it fits so much. Pero nakatayo yung mga gamit. So for example, meron kang tripod na medyo maliit. Kakasa yun. And also on the time that I bring my vlogging camera, it's gonna fit. May bagay sa yung malalaking backpacks kasi ang pandak po nga. Huwag akong batang balik sa grade 2 ganun. So hindi siya bagay sa guys. But this one, it's cute. It's the right amount of cute. It also comes with two adjustable straps so you can use it crossbody. Pwede isang strap lang yung gamitin mo. Or pwede is of course a backpack. I think for me, I would use it more as a crossbody kasi I'm a crossbody type of girl. Meron din siyang front compartment here. To be honest, hindi ko na lang siguro lalagyan ng anything to. It's very brown. It's very me. For sure, I'm gonna get a lot of views out of this kasi kasha yung tripod, kasha yung camera. So we good. So final thing I got for myself, hindi ko na ito ma-unbox kasi I actually did an entire unboxing over at my TikTok account. So follow me there kung gusto nyo makita yung first look na sobrang in love talaga ako sa kanya. Pero obviously sa thumbnail, alam niyo na kung ano. Guys, she is beautiful. She is edgy. She is fire. She is chic. She is powerful. This is a bag that's gonna turn head. Sobrang classy niya. This is one of my dream bags. I finally got myself the Chanel 19. And yung size ko pala is small. So meron silang medium, which medyo nagsisisi ako. Sana yun na lang yung binilig ko yung medium. But I'm still happy with this nonetheless. Isn't she the most beautiful handbag? Like black, delicious, very juicy, fluffy bag. Oh, I love it so much, you guys. Ang lakas ng ulan, bes. Biglan lumakas. But as I was saying, this is a top handle bag. Pwede siyang ganyan. Ganyan-ganyang bag lang siya. It also has a crossbody strap para masuot niya siya as crossbody. And yung favorite part ko dito, yung bagsak niya sa akin, is sobrang sakto. Doon sa classic flap ko kasi na medium. Yung bagsak niya sa akin, medyo andito talaga siya sa taas. Pero ito talaga sobrang sakto yung sa body ko. Sobrang sakto ng bagsak nito sa torso ko, guys. So yun yung favorite part ko. This one has more sass, pizzazz, and some more attitude. Of course, nothing beats a classic. But honestly, this one comes close. Close. It is so freaking beautiful, much more beautiful in person. No hardware niya guys, so I'm not sure kung ano specifically yung tawag dito. It's not just gold, it's not just silver. If you wear gold accessories or silver accessories, it's bound to look good with this bag. You open it like this and ayan na siya. So ito compared to the classic flap, mas delicate to kasi mas structured yung classic flap. This one, if I have to be honest, it's a lot softer. And by the way, I have my bag puff. To, of course, protect it and also to give it that fluff, that puffiness. This is how it looks like. Sa loob, canvas na ata. O hindi siya leather na sa loob. Also, mas marami kang malalagay sa kanya compared to the classic flap. Because the classic flap, hindi mo siya pwedeng stuff with things. Ito, mas okay siya or mas maganda siya kapag mas maraming laman feel ko. In terms of structure, this one is a lot more soft compared to classic flap na structured. So, ayan. Mukha itong structured for some reason, but it's actually not. It's very plush. It's very soft soft and fluffy. This is such a beautiful bag, guys. As in, no regrets. I think it's on my top 5 na 
na mga favorite bags ko like ever. Sobrang ganda lakas ng dating. But yes, that's it for what I got for my birthday. I want to be a little vulnerable with you guys. If there's something I can tell to my past self is just to hang in there and keep going. That's one. Because you know what? Five years ago or even ten years ago, I didn't expect all that. I didn't expect that I will be in this position right now where I'm at. Not only financially speaking, but my growth mentally, emotionally as a person. My 15-year-old self or even my 20-year-old self wouldn't even have believed that there are opportunities will be coming my way. So if there's something I can tell my younger self is just to hang in there and just reach for your dreams and don't give up. Trust the process. That's one. And again, moving back to this book, yung Itchy Go Itchy A, the book. Dami ko talagang mga realizations sa naman. We are so caught up with life. Whether it's the past or the future. Sa past, we like to hold grudges. It's either we're always so angry, we're always so frustrated with something or someone. Future naman, we're also worried and anxious of what our life's gonna be like, how the future's gonna be like. We're so scared, we're so worried, but we forget to live in the present. Ganun ako, na napapansin ko talaga ganun ako, guys. It's either I'm so caught up with the past, kung wala may mga bagay na nagpapasad sa akin, I always lurk around that feeling, and it takes me a while. Although I don't hold grudges, but it takes me a while to get over that feeling. Ang tagal bago ko gumising sa present, ng her girl, okay lang yan, tapos na get over it. This book has a lot to do with that. It's really gonna make you realize that none of that's gonna matter, and we should live our lives as if it's our last. Sa buhay natin ngayon, walang memory yung mauulit. Alam mo yun, parang everything is fleeting. So, why not make the most out of it? I want to live my life differently from now on. I don't want to dwell on the petty stuff anymore. Like, I'm done with that. Be with people who I love and treasure the most and make them feel loved. And, yeah, like, yun lang. Yun lang talaga. Peace of mind. Best. Peace of mind. Thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you for even listening to my blabs and for my thoughts na super random and all over the place. I know it's all over the place, but thank you so much for listening, you guys. Thank you because none of this would be possible without you guys' support.